to my channel my name is Hannah if you're new here make sure you subscribe today's video is a fall weekend fall day fall weekend in my life I already filmed some yesterday me and my boyfriend Michael went to Ikea and we got some new furniture for the room got a new vibe to the room going on um, he moved in in June, so since then we've been rearranging the room, getting new furniture to be able to fit all of our clothes and just have a functioning room. So now we have a dresser that fits our clothes and we also got a desk and a new desk chair because Michael didn't have one and obviously with online classes it's pretty essential to have a nice workspace for the rest of the day today got some homework to do I'm gonna go to trader joe's i'll show you trader joe's haul and yeah oh but i have a story time for this ikea situation we went to ikea in june or july i forget i think it was july we went in july went to go get nightstands when we went to find nightstands, we found this dresser that I fell in love with. Like, this was the perfect dresser. I'll insert a picture. Probably so many people have seen it or like it or want it because it has gone out of stock every single time that they restock it. So I've been wanting this dresser since July. Been checking the IKEA website like three or four times a week to see when this thing is back in stock, when we can go and finally get it couple days ago I check after they were out of stock and the next day said they were 27 in stock I was so excited I'm like all right let's go tomorrow right when they open we get there there's a long line love that so that kind of sucked but the line went pretty fast we got inside walking through all the areas I got a nice new um, jar to put some overnight oats in um, got some tea light candles to put in some pumpkins that we carved and also I just wanted some tea light candles because you got like 30 of them for three dollars. Then we go to the aisle that the dresser is supposed to be in. <sighs> Still makes me sad to think about. But they didn't have the color I wanted. They only had white and I really wanted a black one. I would even settle for the dark gray. But I just didn't want white because that, it just, it wasn't the vibe. I went and asked one of the people that was working at Ikea and I said, hey, are there any more of this dresser? I know there was a bunch in stock. There's 26 in stock when I checked and he goes, yep, they're all gone. 26 of these dressers were sold out within an hour of opening. Tell me how, how, how does everyone want this dresser and why? I know that everyone's doing like home improvements and new furniture updates and all that stuff because everyone's home all the time, but just the furniture there in general was very limited. I was like, all right, I don't care. We need to get another dresser. Don't really care what it looks like. Let's just see. There's only like one other option. So we got it and it was more expensive, but I do feel like it's more heavy duty, will last longer, holds more, so still salty about it, but whatever. Moving on. Then we go to find the desk that we wanted to get, and that was out of stock too. All of the things we wanted were out of stock, except they had one color in the desk left, and it was the last one that had the pieces left I'm pretty sure. The IKEA experience was just not it, not what I wanted. I got so excited because we were like, oh, I'm finally gonna get new furniture. We also ordered some new lights. Cause if you can see, I'll show you right here. We got these lights strung up. The lights are strung up around half of the room, but the other half of the room does not have lights. So we ordered some more LED lights and we're gonna hang them up today. They should get here today. So I will show you the finished product after we hang those up. But yeah, 
But that's just my little story time. I don't know, I just thought it was pretty ridiculous how I'd been wanting this dresser for months and then it went out of stock within an hour. But to get to New Jersey, it's like a 30 to 45 minute drive, but it's like a lot of tolls to get there. It's just not ideal to drive back there. You can't go there whenever. It has to be planned out. So the fact that we went there, planned out our day for this dresser, and then we didn't get it, that was just, it was really sad, but we made it work. I'm happy with what we have. But Ikea will take up your entire day and it will test your patience to the max because I was just so fed up. I think it was just because the dresser wasn't there and yet I overreacted that it wasn't there and got mad, but who wouldn't, you know? What was I even gonna say? Oh, so we got back and we're like, all right, let's eat lunch de-stress a little bit and let's get to building. So we start building. I took a couple of clips of me taking all of the stuff out of the boxes because there was just so much stuff. I had three boxes full of a bunch of different pieces of wood and screws and all of that kind of stuff. Took that all out, have three different piles for the three different boxes, uh, two different packets of instructions and I start going to work and then I was like, you know what? I can't film this. One, because I don't have the patience to even think about setting up my phone to film it and worry about all that kind of stuff. Two, I can barely keep my cool putting all of this stuff together as it is and I don't really want it recorded, my reactions of trying to put furniture together because it, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't. There were tears tears <laughs> so yeah I tried to get a couple clips but obviously didn't film the whole thing because building furniture sucks got finally got them fully built by like 10 p.m. last night just finished putting clothes in the dresser today and yeah finally can relax a little bit more but they look good hold stuff functional feel more an adult but my only issue is that they just don't go together like the the color scheme of the furniture in the room is really off all the different kinds of colors are going on we got black dresser white desk brown desk black nightstands it's we're just not gonna talk about it we're just gonna look at the functionality and the spacing and stuff and not look at the colors and the okay so i'm gonna do some computer work and i'll catch up with you later probably when we get back from trader joe's and i'll show you our trader joe's haul also want to get stuff to carve pumpkins because we got big mama pumpkins that need to be carved and we can put the tea lights in them and spooky season Hello, it is now days later, it's Monday. And I know I said this was gonna be a weekend in my life, but let's just pretend it's still the weekend. But anyways, yeah, so it's Monday. Didn't end up going to Trader Joe's yesterday, but went today, suck at vlogging, so didn't really give you a full haul, but gave you a little overview of what I got. Um, then I came home, I ate breakfast, um, had a class, took a shower, and now I'm in the process of doing my laundry. But basically, as I left off, I said that we were going to be hanging up the new LED lights that we got. So I will show you that, and then I will also show you the finished dresser and desk and desk chair to finish off the vlog, and then we can do the pumpkin carving in the next vlog. I'm not gonna show you my trash. Uh, we have something coming out of the wall here that has two LED strips coming out of it because we thought it was 50 feet, but it's actually two 25 foot strips. So here is what it looks like during the daytime. This one runs all along this wall and the other one runs all the way around this wall and down to the bottom because 
I didn't want it to have to stop halfway through this wall. And then the fairy lights we already had, I strung up around here. And then they go all the way around, around the doorway and stop there, which I think is really cute because at first we had them strung up this way around here all the way to this tapestry. You can still see where the line was, where they used to be, which is annoying. Let me know how I can get that off. But yeah, then there was just this section from the top of the tapestry that was not lit. But then there was a big section here that was open that I hated because the bed looks right at it. This is what the dresser looks like. Very happy with how it turned out, nice and sturdy. It's just got a black outside. <laughs> These knobs are like, feel like metal, but they're not. Um, I'll open it, I just have some tank tops in here. The inside has like this nice um, striped lining, which I like. I didn't know it was gonna have that until I started building it and I was like, ooh. So yeah, that's the dresser. Looks really good. It's about, what's the length? Um, about to my chest, so it's pretty tall. And then I really like how I have these plants above it with these little fairy lights and my little pumpkin that I put a little like cinnamon, what's it called? Cinnamon broom thing that makes it smell good. So yes, really like this corner of the room. Um, yeah. And over here we have Michael's desk. It's a nice dark brown color. It has a drawer here and then an open uh, door here. And then this is the, oh, there's a shirt on here. Looks nice and sturdy. Let's test it out. Yeah, this is nice. Nice chair. I approve. So yeah, that's our little rundown of the room updates. Let me get to better lighting to do an outro. So yeah, those are all the updates we got on the room throughout this past weekend. Still have to find pumpkin carving tools. I have to go to stop and shop for that because they didn't have, oh, someone's alarm is going off. Can you hear it? Oh, it stopped. Usually it goes on for like a few minutes before someone realizes, but yeah, so anyways, I didn't get pumpkin carving stuff, so we have to wait a few more days to carve pumpkins. And so that'll probably be the next vlog. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I also have a cook with me vlog coming up where I cook pumpkin coffee cake, or I should say bake. I bake pumpkin coffee cake. So I'm excited for that video. I've been wanting to try it for a really long time. And yeah, so we're gonna do that. Get some new vlogs up for you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.